Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Cheryl Lynn and this channel is Cheryl T Believes. And today I wanted to show you guys my collection of new emos. I don't know how many of you are collecting the new emos, but I love them. <laughs> I'm kind of a little obsessed with them. They're actually quite cute and fun. Um, some of them are mine and, and some of them are my son's. Uh, we just really have really enjoyed collecting them. I haven't been able to get some for a while. I do want the new ones they have. Um, well, I'm really not into the princesses, so I'm sorry if anybody gets hurt by that. And I didn't want Miss Piggy. But I truly want um, the Sally. And I also want Jack. Because Jack and Sally is the theme of my wedding next month. <laughs> Anyways, so I thought I would show you guys the ones that I do have and some of the accessories that I bought with them are the clothes, not really necessary accessories. I haven't done that yet. I have looked to see if there's anything new online that I want to buy. And the only thing new, but it ha it's not available, is I do want to buy Mickey the Halloween outfit. And I keep looking over there because they're like all in a little container over here that I have like set up because I want them all to like stay together. I don't have enough room for extra shelves for them. So I'm trying to find some more extra shelvings. I can have like, a whole shelf for them so they can be beautiful. Anyways, <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to show you the first two that I purchased. And of course, for me, I had to have my Mickey first. And if you have Mickey, you have to have Minnie. I have done a review on these on one of my videos. And I just absolutely think they are super adorable. And I really do enjoy having them and just dressing them. And of course, Mickey, I had to put him in this cute little outfit. They are pretty easy to change in and out of. So you won't really have much problems. I mean, even the backpack has like, it's like a Velcro that's right here that snaps on and off. And it's actually a very usable backpack. It actually has a front pocket that you could put stuff in and a smaller pocket um, that you can also put stuff in. My nose is itching. I'm sorry, y'all guys. I have been dealing with bad allergies. Ugh. Anyways. Y'all know I don't edit my videos. Everything I do is, I just say what I got to say and I'm done. I'm just a real person. But yeah, you actually can open it. It has a real zipper. These bags are not as big as the mini lounge flies that you can get for your new emos. And I'm going to show you those too. I also have mini. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, they have these cute little tails. Like, oh, I just, I love them. I love him. I love him. Okay, sorry. So this is my mini. And of course, she has the little cute tail as well. And did I tell y'all they have redonkulous long tags? Not sure why they did this. I know a lot of people have said the same thing. What? But I don't want to remove them because I'm scared it'll deface the value of them. I've already taken tags off of them. So, yes, she has these cute little bloomers underneath, and she also has her little tail and her little butt check. Um, yes, so she's super, super cute. This is the outfit that she came in. I haven't changed it because it goes with the little mini lounge fly that I bought her because I have a lounge fly, so my girl gotta have a lounge fly too, right? <laughs> so, yeah, she has the little polka dot red one with the and it fits her outfit perfectly even if she gets another outfit this is always going to be her lounge of fly um, also too if you look in here there's that redonkulous i just don't know why they did this egg that way <laughs> but it does have room to fit quite a few little outfits and has that cute inner little polka dots so yes and mo is my co-host today if you're wondering what the little fur ball was in my lap. So yeah, he's calling me right now. Ow. Okay. And then it has the little hard enamel that says lounge fly on it. And so let me pull it off of her so you can see how easy her dress is to pull off of her to change her out. But it's just a real quick little pull off. 
and she has a full-on bloomers underneath which is awesome i think that's super cute and just looks like definitely a mini isn't that for sure <laughs> so yeah that's my little mini and this is how easy the little bags go on them super easy and this is my mini and my mickey and they have those magnets in their hands so that you can if you want to you can actually make accessories for them and add the magnets especially if you have one of those those little like um three printers like yes make some of the cute little stuff and accessories for these um i know i've seen some youtubers that have houses for them and are doing all sorts of stuff i think that's cool i enjoy it's fun it's just a little hobby makes you happy whatever makes you happy right guys but they are awesomely cute and i love them and they're great in my collection the next two couple of the day um of course i had to have daisy and donald um he definitely reminds me some ridiculous tag oh my gosh he definitely re remind he definitely looks like donald yes but he totally reminds me of the um triplets on uh dang now i forget the little show that i used to watch when i was a kid oh my gosh dewey louie and them the cartoon oh my goodness i'm having a brain fart right now it always happens when i try to film i don't know why i don't word right or have a brain fart or I don't know why that has to be, but I know you guys know what cartoon I'm talking about, and I was just talking about it because she reminds me of Webby. Um, she definitely reminds me of her little quacky patch doll too. I don't know if you guys don't remember Webby, but she was like, and it's not Darkwing Duck. DuckTales, there we go. Oh my gosh, my brain is totally... I don't know what it is, guys, but when you get it in front of a camera, you forget everything you know. It's like everything goes poof because you want to give people the right information and not, you know, some randomness that someone's like, hey, that's not true. So, yeah, <laughs> DuckTales. They definitely remind me of DuckTales, and I love DuckTales, believe it or not, even though I just forgot. Sorry about that. She definitely reminds me of Webby and her Quacky Patch doll. I always wanted a Quacky Patch doll, so for me, that's... Daisy looks just like that. <laughs> She's so super cute, and underneath, she comes with a very simple... Her little... Her little, like, I'm going to see if I can't show it to you guys. Of course, the redonkulous tag. And then, like, the little purple shirt. She comes with that. It does not come off. So you just kind of put the clothes over it, which is fine with me. I did get her the rose gold little spirit jersey because I found it on eBay. I guess someone bought it. It was used. It did not come with tags or in its original thing. So I think I paid, like, $12.99 for it. Something really, really easy, simple. I think it was free shipping. Can't remember all the details because I'm always looking on there. She has this like little, her little bracelet. And she's just so super cute. And I love her. So I did get her the little rose gold jer spirit jersey. I thought it went perfect for her. And of course, she's a girl. And she's my girl. So I had to get her one of the little mini lounge of flies. This one is the sequence rose gold one. So it goes perfect with her outfit. And it just fits her. Like, yes. And inside, if you look, there's those little polka dots and also the redonkulous long tag. But these are their lounge flies, and I just think these are so cute. And they're really inexpensive to buy. So, and they go on really easily, and they look really cute on these little girls. Like, yes, that's their little purse, like their mom. And, of course, you have Donald in his little sailor outfit. And they have those little, like, <laughs> so cute little butt duck, duck butts. <laughs> 
So yeah, they are just really super cute to collect. I am super enjoying them and I love that there's the couples that you can buy. So yeah, there's my Daisy and my Donald. My second two because my son's like, come on mom, we have to have Stitch. And I'm sorry, but if I'm going to have Stitch, you know I'm going to get my angel. So this is my angel and my stitch. Well, not really my stitch. It's my son's stitch. But they are in together. And of course, they have the little magnetic little hands. And I chose this outfit for stitch because it says S. And because I don't know if any of you guys watch Ordinary Adventures, but I do. I love them. And they bought a stitch. And Peter picked out, Peter and Kitra picked out this little outfit for him and it was perfect. So that was the outfit I decided to pick out for my stitch and he just looks so cute in this outfit. He does have his little tail that can stick out the pants of it. You do have to adjust the outfits a bit for them to be able to do that, but I really enjoyed that I could let them do that. So there's your butt check, Kitra. So, <laughs> yes, I really enjoy these a lot. They are very easy as well to, and they have the little, he has this little man fur right there. Okay, sorry. And they're very easy to pose or to just change out outfits. But for me, this is the perfect outfit for him. And of course, I have my beautiful angel right here and her wild child self. And you see she has her little antlers and I decided to give her a bow because she is one of my girls that don't originally come with a bow. So I got, picked out this cute little outfit, the little jean outfit with a jean bow and the little lovely t-shirt. I thought it fit her so well. And I also seen this like cotton candy looking one and I thought that would be totally her too. She's a little wild child. But yes, my little angel, and she also does have the redonkulous long tag like they all do, but she also has her little, her little tail as well, if you can't see that. And for her, I picked this cute little snack, Disney snack bag. Oh, I dropped my poor, hold on guys, poor thing. I dropped him. But I'm super jealous of Angel. I would love to have this Loungeify. It is the little snack treat bag Loungeify. I was really excited to see that. There's another Loungeify on there, but... And it's like the white one with the black Mickeys on it. Like, it's super cute. They look like polka dots, like black polka dots, but they're, they're Mickeys. They are really super cute, but... I don't have any more girls, you guys. I guess if I get Sally, she could have that one. It'd be perfect. It's a little theme for Sally. But, yep. I got her the little snack one. <laughs> it's so, so, so super cute. It has the official little lounge fly. This one actually says Disney lounge fly on it. Now, I want to show you guys that because I thought that was really interesting that they actually put a little enamel um little thing on there that says Disney Loungefly. None of these say that. They just say Loungefly on them. But I guess because this one has the actual snacks on it. I wonder if these ones had ears on them. They would say Disney. I'm just wondering because either way, I love them all so it doesn't matter. But she makes me super jealous of her because I really would love to have this bag. I know that they have this bag or they did, but it goes for way too much. I'm on eBay and I'm, I'm just not going to pay that for these bags. I'm sorry. I'm just, I have to be realistic with my money. So yeah, <laughs> if it was like, you know, the regular price it was somewhere and I can make payments maybe, but yeah, no, I just, no. Anyways, but yes, they have cute little snacks all over them. And I just think it is absolutely adorable. Like I said, very jealous of her. And it opens as well. And I'm going to show you inside. It has little mini Mickeys for the lining. And of course, that really retarded. Oh. <laughs> I just realized this was in there. Hey, I think they, wait, let's see. Is it, no, it's the retarded long, redonkulous long <laughs> tag. Um, but you still could put a couple outfits in there and it's just really 
cute. And she, it fits her and her personality if you ask me. So that is my stitch and my angel. And I think they are so super cute. I love that so far the theme has been couples. The next two that I have, I actually sent off for them on eBay. I think it was, I got a really good deal on them. I was like, really? That's all I got to pay? And there was no shipping involved or anything like it was free. So it was like free shipping, but these did come from Japan. I had to have them. I had to, I had to have these and my son agreed. So yes, I have Chip and Dale. <laughs> And of course, I had to put one in Star Wars and one in like Night Before Christmas, Oogie Boogie. The first time I ever put Chip, <laughs> I'm sorry, not Chip. This is Chip. This is Dale. <laughs> the first time I ever put Dale in this, I laughed for days. Like I was laughing while I was putting it on. This is the cutest outfit, but this is what I chose for him because he's so super goofy and with his little red nose. And if you look, they even have his little, his little teefers are out as if he looks totally like himself. He also has that little hair right there. I just... I adore him so much, and I just refuse to take off this new third tags. The reason being because these came all the way from Japan. So let me take his little hat down so you can see him. This is from the outfit, so I'm going to tuck it in. That is what his little head looks like. Of course, all their heads are posable. Yes, oh, super cute. Let me show you what his little feeties look like, and that's what his feet are going to look like. And these are super easy to put on and off. You just slide them on and just Velcro them in the back. And his little outfit just comes right off like that as well. But I just thought this fit him. Maybe I'm wrong. For, maybe some of you are like, no. But I just think it's super cute. And I just, I'm not going to take off, you know, this because it did come from Japan. And it actually shows it. It actually shows that on the tag. And they're just... This is so super cute. I actually just, I, I was really excited to get them. And then, of course, you're going to have, you know, your chip. He's super cute. And I haven't taken his off either. Let's see if it has, I think it does have Disney new emos. And then inside it has a lot of writing in Japan. So I just, I don't want to take it off. Because they did come to me. I've probably said that about four times now. I'm sorry. I'm not going to edit it either. And somebody's texting me. But anyways. Um, I decided to put him in the Ahsoka little outfit. I think he looks super cute on him. It is easy to come off. Oh, I forgot to show you guys and give you a butt check on them. They do have their cute little tails. They both do. This is a little butt chick. They have their Adonculus long tag as well, and I think I had it tucked in here somewhere. Or did they not? You know what? That's right. That's their tag. Very simple and easy. I'm just not sure. Look, this is their tag. Their tag is not... I need to sit one down. Their tag, if you look, it's not as big as the ones here. I'm not sure why, but um, I would have rather had these tags for sure. But as he gives us his butt check, he moons us. These were just the little easy little slide-ons. I was kind of disappointed that they weren't the Velcro in the back because I wanted his little tail to pop out. I think that makes them super cute, but it's okay. You know, we'll deal with it. I think I tried, oh yeah, you can't in these at all, because look, if you do, you are you got like this, he's like got saggy pants and his sport tail is like, so yeah, you're going to kind of like tuck his little tail in on this little outfit, but this little outfit is super cute, and if you hear my kid nerd raging in the back, he's playing his game, and it comes with these little cute like tennis shoes, and they come off in the back, and I think, yeah, these were super easy to put on. So you just kind of slide them back on like that. And yeah, these, they're so cute. And I absolutely adore the Chippendale. I adore all of them. I'm not going to lie to you guys. 
So the next one I got, I did not do the couples thing with it. And the first one I originally got, I got him and he's so cute. I love Kermit how he is. I haven't gotten him an outfit yet. There's a ridiculous long tag. But the first one of these that I got actually had like a, like was all dirty. And I had reached out to Disney because I got them off of the Disney store online. I had reached out to Disney and I said, hey, is there a proper way to clean it? I did not expect that they were going to send me another one. They sent me a second one. So I ended up giving the new one because I just couldn't see me like getting rid of this one. And I tried to find like something just soft and easy and I cleaned him up, but he was really dirty when I got him from Shop Disney, but they took care of it right away and sent me out a replacement. So I ended up giving the replacement to my niece. I thought she would really love it and she did. I think it's her first new Nemo. Not sure though. But yes, I decided to get Kermit. I don't care for the Miss Piggy. I don't, I don't know. I know that sounds... <laughs> Jeez. I've never cared for Miss Piggy. I'm going to be very honest with you. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for that, but maybe eventually I will because I have a couples thing going on, but I just did not get the Miss Piggy. So that's him. And then, of course, when they came out with Winnie the Pooh and Friends... I had to get the Winnie the Pooh and Friends. And these are the last three new emos that I've collected so far. Man, I've got my little bucket a mess. So I guess I'll have to organize them with you guys. But I went and got Pooh, Piglet, and Eeyore. I still need Tigger because I miss him. I have not got him yet. I need Tigger. And like I said, I need the other two. I don't care for the princess ones. I think it's their hair. I mean, I'm even kind of turned off with the Sally one because of the hair. But I mean, I guess things, everything can't be perfect, you know. But this one is the Pooh one. He is super cute. A little thinner than I thought he should be. But I'm okay with that because once you put on little outfits, I'm sure that helps. And they gave him a little stitch in the butt. So a little butt check. But he is super cute and everybody grew up watching Pooh Bear and if you didn't or didn't have a Pooh Bear as a child, yes. And my son, his, um, my first son, his first blanket was Winnie the Pooh and Friends and yes. So, and then also if you have Pooh, you have to have Tiglet, Tiglet. <laughs> It's Piglet. You have to have Piglet. Now, you guys, it may seem at first that their heads don't turn, but I think it's just because they're a little stiff. Once you play with them, they'll start moving around. But this is the little cute Piglet. Is he not super cute? I actually got him. I got him on eBay for like $12.99. I didn't pay much for him at all. I remember. And this one, too. I won him for, I think, $12.99 in a... Yeah, I do believe so. I won him for $12.99 um, in one of their auctions. It was really cool. I was like, yes, yes, yes. Because, you know. But anyways, yes, that's the cute little piglet. And then, of course, I love Eeyore. He is so sweet. I love that he's so smiling when normally Eeyore is like, woe is me. But he's so smiley and so cute and that beautiful blue. And I love his hair. And if you look at tail, he has a little pin on his tail. And of course, that cute little pink bow. But yes, this is my piglet. Not Tiglet. <laughs> Eeyore and my Pooh Bear. I'm just missing Tigger. So yes. So yes, you guys. What do you think about all of my new emails that I've collected. How many have you collected? Are you collecting them? Yeah, leave a comment down the bottom. I know it takes me a while maybe to comment and maybe my comments are kind of short, but I'm really shy to be very honest with you. I have a hard time bringing up conversations with people, um, but I am so grateful for whoever comments, who has subscribed to me or who taking the time to watch my geeky dorkiness 
I love that there are so many other people that enjoy the things that I do. You know, sometimes some people like to criticize people for, you know, collecting toys. Like, you're too, you're too old to do that. Look, we have to do what makes us happy. And as long as we're not hurting somebody else or ourselves, there's nothing wrong with it, if you ask me. And not only that, like, hello, there's some things that we grew up with in our childhood that we'll never forget. There are so many toys that I wish that I would have been able to keep as a child. I had elves, I had, you know, turtle tots and ninja turtles, Barbies. I had all sorts of Disney Barbies. Like, I wish I still had all those. So, things happen and when you get an adult, you have to play all over again, right? You know, work hard, play hard. So, yes, I'm going to go ahead and, like, get my little bucket because it's, like, a hot mess after I got into it. But, like, I've been keeping them all in this cute little bucket with their heads popped out so I could see. Whoa, I just dropped my poo bear. So I could see, like, who all do I have. I really superly really enjoy with these little guys. I am going to get a specific little shelf for them so that I can keep my collection of them up. For right now, I have them like this. My little room's kind of not, it's kind of, it's not that it's crowded. It just, I don't have a lot of shelving in here. So yeah, soon I'm going to have to start looking for more shelving to put some more smart shelving at that to put all my little like collections on because me and my son love to find things. Hi, Mo to collect so i've just been kind of keeping them in this little bin trying to make sure all their little feces are popped out yeah that'll work so i've just kind of been keeping them in this little bin and on my shelf over here so i can see all the ones that i have so there you have it this is my cute little collection my dirtiness and i don't know i enjoy them i hope you guys enjoyed this video and I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed, liked, and shared my videos and yeah, just been listening to me waffling on about things and I think I spit when I said poor <laughs> Angel <laughs> or seen my quirky geekiness so yeah, you guys um, if you're collecting these, let me know which ones you have or which ones would you like to have or yeah and if you guys are interested in seeing my stuffed animals for Grogu, let me know. I don't think I've done all my Grogu bags, but I do. Oh, you know what? I do want to show you guys so that you know to go look for it now before they're like out of stock. I know this was supposed to just be my new emos, but I super, I want to show you this. Because if you guys have like the lounge of flies that are Grogu that you collect or you use. Like this is the one my honey gave me and I love it. I use it quite often. I use all my bags actually. So I have quite a few that are Grogu, but I'm always looking for like, cause I'm gonna be honest with you. My first Grogu bag was a Walmart buy. And I paid like $17.99 for it. And I actually did a review on it. And I've gotten a lot of comments on this when I've used it. So people are like, that's really cute. And they sold out fast. And people were selling them on eBay for like 40 and 50 bucks. And I was like, we're only paying $17.99. I was like, woo! So I was watching one of my other YouTubers that I love to watch because she's the biggest Grogu collector. She collects new emos and Stitch and Disney. I was watching her and she like showed a bag that I was like, oh my gosh, it was at Walmart. Well, this time she showed this one and I was so excited because it's $17.99 and it comes with this little purse right here. These 
are so awesome to have. I love the little coin purses. I'm going to show you one that I got from Walmart in a little set of tote like little bags. This, I love this. I love to use this with any of my Grogu bags because sometimes when I'm standing in line, I'll have all my credit cards or money in it and I'll just stand there in line like this and we'll have to kind of, you know, have to get into my bag and I just put my bag on the back of me and then when I'm done, I just pop it in my bag in my little organizer. But she had like where she um, reviewed this cute bag right here and um she's c rad by the way her name's krista if you ever want to check her out if you're a big grogu fan she's absolutely amazing i have a lot of youtubers that i totally look up to so i don't mind mentioning them in my videos at all so she mentioned this bag to me. This is a awesome buy. This is $17.99 as well. No, I think it was $18.99. I take that back. No, I'm sorry. It was $19.98. But I don't want to say I only paid like $18.99 or $17.99. I could be wrong. It does have side pockets. And Mo is like dropping everything over here. If you hear a bunch of it has a cute front pocket with Grogu on it. And it also has Mando. It is black. It does have short straps on it, but if you are like me and like to kind of have yours up a little further, I do like mine up a little further. It just has those nylon straps. It's very inexpensive, or maybe you have, you know, someone that's younger and you want them to start off with their first bag and they love Grogu. This is a great starter bag for them. But for me, this is a great bag to use every day. I cannot wait to use it. On the inside, it's just a basic black. I stuffed it already. And then it just it doesn't have any inner pockets. It just has those little, I don't know what they're called. They're like little bungees where you can sit stuff in them. But you guys, this was a great buy. So yeah, if you are interested, I would go online and get one now. I would not wait. And this is like a hard faux vegan leather. So this is, so this is not going to get all sorts of like bent up unless you really put some force to it. So it's so cute. And I love that it has the Mando and it's so inexpensive. And yes, it's super cute. I love this. I think this is amazing. Oh, bye. I wanted to tell you guys because I know a lot of you collect Rogu or collect lounge flies or just collect mini backpacks. And I want you guys to be able to get it before they're all gone or somebody finds them and sells them on eBay for bukus of money. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I hope you have enjoyed my video. So yes, thank you so much. Hit, give me a like, subscribe, share, comment, you know, yeah. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful night. And let me hit that stop button.